Antebellum is tackling timeless but timely issues in an interesting way. You should not be able to know where this film is going. And that should be the way to keep the audience engaged and looking at the details. And this film plays so much in the details that we've built in and the little Easter eggs we've built. And it would require multiple viewings to really dissect all of the things we've done with the development of the script and the story that's being told. And all of those things should hopefully just be a conduit to people thinking deeper and deeper about the issues that are being raised in the project. And all of that is in service of that goal. And I think that that is an interesting way to approach these big, very big cultural themes. She's amazing, what an absolute talent, and she hasn't had that leading role yet, so it would be a real breakout piece. And this is such an explosive film in and of itself. To have somebody like Janelle there at the center of it would just make it 10 times more exciting. The, we, felt, we felt like the press would be all over it, our culture would be all over it, it would really spark a lot of interest and dialogue. And so that's when we got the project out to her team and she responded very quickly that this was something really interesting and scary and something worth exploring. And uh, that's then through a lot of conversations with the filmmakers, it became she's the perfect person for this movie. Eric was somebody that was on our short list very early on based on his work on Escape Danamora. And he was somebody that on the creative side, we all really felt strongly that he was, you know, he's an underexposed, highly talented actor that in the right role in a film has massive awards and breakout potential. And uh, fortunately, everyone agreed. And he's bringing all of that talent that we hoped he would. And uh, he deserves all of the accolades he's gotten uh, in the TV space. And we hope now he'll get that in the film space too.